Hello and welcome. Today I've got this Festo 5.2 ampere 18 volt battery and it does not charge. That's a red light. If you can see it in the camera properly, that means that's bad. Red lights are never really a good thing. Anyway, um, we're going to get into this and see what is going on and can we fix it. First port of call is this little uh, multimeter. We're going to check the positive and negative to see what's coming out of the pack here. The positive and negative, turn it on. And we're getting 15.85. Now if that pack was right, it should charge at 15.85. But we've got to get inside and see what's going on. Those screws were tight. Anyway, we can get our split here now. Right, so what we've got to do is do a voltage check of the cells all the way along. And we can do this from going to each side, or we can do this from these wee wires as well. As long as we're crossing the cell with the uh, measuring from one side to the other. That's the positive side there. So on this one, so we'll go from here to here. And we're getting 3.96 if you can see that. And we'll go on this one here. 3.96 There's rubber coat in there. We could either pull that off or we could I oh, will just pull that off Doesn't do a well lot for us anyway I'll we'll pull that off about to get it tested Yep, yeah. so we'll test that one now That's negative and that's positive and we get nothing, nothing. So that's the dead cells there. I would say the rest of them is okay because we're getting fifteen point eight five. It would figure that the rest of them would be okay. Uh, Three point nine six. We do that the right way around. Do you see? Three point nine six. And the end cells will be the same. Three point nine six. So the cells that are good are all balanced. But these two. I'll show you here. What did you, what did it get rubber off after all? It's a metal bank of cells that are gone. So we've got to do is get in there, pull the old ones out, and put in a set of new ones. Or not new, but uh, reconditioned ones. So that's this one, and this one has to come out. You know. What I'm going to use to replace these two cells are these reclaimed ones. I reclaimed them out of an old battery pack. And the most important thing about fitting the new or different cells, you know, replacing cells, is they must be the same voltage as the the ones that are coming out. So they're 3.94 and 3.95. So they're near enough the same voltage as the ones coming out. If they were a different voltage, we'd have to either bring the pack to the voltage of these or bring these to the voltage of the pack. So it saves time that we don't have to do that. All we just have to do is get these uh, these bad cells out now. So that's the that's the plan. Battery repair is something you should be very cautious with. If you're not confident or competent or prepared to take the risk, I say probably don't do it, but you know, 
it's a personal choice I think it's up to yourself but I'm not telling you it's a fantastic idea I'm just showing you how to do it or how I would do it this video is really for entertainment and education purposes only people do like the battery content and if you have a Festo and you fancy it this might help you so we're going to cut these out maybe I'm going to cut these out You need to be very, very, very careful working with that and they're all around cells, especially good cells. These bad ones wouldn't be so bad, but you don't want to cut a good cell with a Dremel and expose it to the air because that's how you get a little fire started, you know, that you don't want. Anyway, whatever. That's starting to look a lot better. And yeah. Mm, nothing's leaking now, but not that it matters, they're coming out anyway. Get to these all paired back now. Hopefully, you can these slid out. These bad ones. Oh. Sometimes they're not easy to get out. I don't come on it. Um, yeah. We've got them. It's very little to hold them. That's them out now. So we'll slide two replacements on. Yeah. These are the exact same ones. That's good. I was, I was worrying in case I was using a different brand, but anyway. Same brand anyway. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just have to use what I have. There's the new ones on, or the replacement ones on, should I say. They're not exactly new, but they're new to me. Our next step is to connect these to the other cells in the pack. Right, we'll have to trim that off a bit. That's a bit too long.
using their spot welder. This is where the spot welder comes into play now. Not so bad. that done we'll try and stick the pack back together here hopefully we'll be able to slaughter on nice and handy Right, we'll try it in the charge now and see what we got. Charging. Green light flashing, that means it's charging. So, we'll have to live her a while and see how she gets on. Right, so here we are. Doesn't take long at all. Battery's fully charged, showing the, the red light, or sorry, the green light. <laughs> the red light's bad. Um, showing full bars very nice and and we get a voltage check on her I'm showing 20.37 20.36 20 volts that's perfect so as I suggested we did fix the Festool battery I had high hopes for it and I wasn't wrong so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.